Okay, two evidence detections. This is mid-June. Uh, here's the first one. You can see she's taking scent on a hard bottle. So normally she takes scent on a piece of cloth or something. That's a bottle that's been left with the scent rag. So there's been transfer of scent. And now I'm teaching her to take scent on an, a fixed object. And this then could be used to take scent from a window pane, a car door, a car door handle, whatever it might be. This is the process to get it done. So now you can see she's got the scent and there she's going scouring the bush looking for it. You can see there is a bit of, uh, because the video pans quite a bit, it doesn't look very strategic, but we actually have blocks that we're working. So we'll canvas one block area, move to the next block area. Uh, it's all GPS monitored on the cell phone. So basically we would then be able to rule out areas where there would be no evidence found. So you can see she's scouring, scouring, looking for it. Uh, the wind was mild, so she got some whiff of air scent there. And you can see she goes down, she's found it. And there I give her a ball and there's the little pull bottle. Now, you would never find that in uh, just walking through there. So there's the bottle she took scent from, the red one, and the little pull bottle she found. Okay, then we go on to the second one. This is Gale Force Winds. This is a separate field. The one before this was actually a school field, so a lot more scent. This is basically a scent uh, field that cows graze in. So there's a lot of different scent in here. So it's important that you train your dog in various different scenarios. So you can see she's taken scent also from a fixed object, and there she's going. And as Gale Force wins, the detection is not done into the wind. So in other words, she's running with her back to the wind. She's not getting any air scent. It's a lot more difficult. In theory, you should start with the dog facing the wind so that the air blow, uh, the scent blows into the dog's face and the dog can find a lot quicker. This is a lot more difficult and we just cater for all sorts of scenarios because obviously Port Elizabeth's very windy. And there you go, she can see she's going around and around, she's checking everything. So basically, uh, it is in a bush, one of the bushes, I don't know which one, it's in one of the bushes there and she's basically going around. Now, this is the first time she's actually looking for a plastic packet. Um, as we all know, plastic packets are everywhere and trees, they blow everywhere. So this is a, a plastic packet with a scent in it. And there we go, you can see she's basically found it. She gives me a look, she gets a bit distracted by something in the distance and then she goes down. And that's how I knew it was in there. And then I went to go look and there I saw it. And there's basically this is the packet.